friends, this is Chitty Babu from Pondicherry Engineering College. Here is the making video of my hovercraft for a competition. The material I have used to build my hovercraft is an ordinary thermocol. This is an 1 inch thermocol. I have joined C. I have joined uh, 2 1 inch so that it, it will become a 2 inch thermocol. It's basically for only for the strength of the base and nothing more than that. Uh, I have made a hole. Uh, at the center not at the center but little bit forward so that I can place my thrust motor at the behind uh, space will be available this hole is cut such that a 7 inch propeller correctly fits in the diameter of this hole is 7.5 inch this is an ordinary thermocol uh, from the stationery shops for the skirt of my hovercraft I choose this as a bag skirt so for that I bought an umbrella and removed the uh, cover uh, cloth material from the umbrella and just cut as the same shape as my base material uh, this this gap it should be made such that you have the clearance of your ground clearance of the hovercraft now I have cut this such that uh, my clearance will be 5 cm when the air gets filled in this bag uh, it will just shoot up to 5 cm ok friends now I have completed almost uh, all the cutting works the uh, okay this is my skirt I have made a hole here in the shape of same as my base see this is my base the hole will be also in the same shape in the umbrella cloth this is uh, this is only achievable by trial and er trial and error method uh, this this shape of this hole I got it right in my previous hovercraft so uh, I made this same type of hole uh, so here is the whole setup this is my skirt over which I will be placing the base of my first base of my craft over which I will be placing two plywood pieces this is only to maintain the strength of the whole craft ok this, this would be my setup over which again I would be placing another base same 2 inch thermocol thickness same I, same I would be placing this is the top view one minute this, this will be my top view uh, and then this is just a hood to keep it behind my hovercraft here I will be placing my thrust motor here the lift motor and everything all these stuffs this is only just for look if you want you can remove it and just keep a keep your thrust motor here this is also I made it with the same material thermocol so I will be placing it right here now I will be uh, half of this I will be placing again a thermocol please, piece which will be half of this so that I will make a groove here and here for two lipo batteries to fi perfectly fixed in one lipo battery is for the lift motor and another lipo battery is for the thrust motor now the motors I use is avionics 1900 kV with a 76 prop on it see this is my lift motor assembly these are all completely plywood pieces now what I will do is I will place my lift motor here one minute over which I will be placing this right here and for the thrust I am using avionic uh, 1500 kV with a 86 APC prop in it I think now can, you can see I will be placing this this is just a thermocol piece I have made for the thrust motor assembly now I will be placing this thrust motor right here
so this would be my assembly the remaining part is to be glued uh, i should be gluing uh, all the parts now hey friends now the whole craft is ready i have glued all my parts together using fevicol and hot glue hot glues i just use only in the corners like this all all corners i have used hot glues i try to avoid hot glue because it is melting my base material so mostly i prefer fevicol to glue it i have used some batteries here to maintain the cg of my hovercraft i choose batteries as the extra weight because it is much compact uh, okay now i have inverted my hovercraft just to show you the skirt how it looks like uh, i have just glued my skirt to the base material now uh, i have kept some stoppages like this like this just to maintain my ground clearance to 5 cm without this uh, as the thrust provided by this motor is very high uh, the skirt expands uh, skirt is coming out of the body so this these are the stoppages to stop it at 5 cm ground, ground clearance now coming to the electronics part of the hovercraft i have used two 2200 mah 3 cell lipo batteries to power the lift motor and the thrust motor uh, lift motor as i said earlier it is 1900 kv and the thrust motor is 1500 kv the ecs i used is 50 amp ec for the thrust motor and 30 amp ec for the lift motor this is my rudder assembly uh, i have used only a single rudder but with increased surface area i have used a 9 g servo for the movement i have increased the length of this servo arm just to increase the angle by which the rudder is moving i have used a 6 channel avionics rcb 6i transmitter operating in a frequency of 2.4 gigahertz and uh, avionics rcb 6i receiver 6 channel receiver Hi friends, the performance of the whole craft was not much satisfying for me as there is a crosswind now. Uh, since I have used a flat surface like this in my whole craft, the crosswind is trying to push my whole craft to the other side where it becomes very much difficult for me to control this whole craft. So I will be posting more videos while running this whole craft in mornings or in the evenings where the wind, is very, wind speed is very low. For more videos like this, uh, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.